If you're looking to enter a competitive finance role like investment banking, at one point or another, you're gonna be asked to walk through a DCF or discounted cash flow analysis. So today I'm gonna to tell you all about the DCF. At a high level, a DCF analysis is where you project out your free to free cash flows and then discount them back to today's value to get another value after summing them up. So our first part of building out your DCF model is inputting your historical financial data of the last few years and then projecting out your future earnings. And then you wanna make your necessary adjustments until you finally get to free cash flows. One key thing to note is that a DCF is only as good as its assumptions. So if you tend to be on the more optimistic optimistic side of your assumptions, it could destroy your whole model. So after we projected out our future free cash flows for the next like say five years or as long as your industry's business cycle is, you want to assume that the company continues on, right? You don't want to assume that it just like stops. Not to account for all those free cash flows past our projection period, we need to find the terminal value. And this terminal value is the value of all those future free cash flows past our projection period into the future forever. So after projecting out a free cash flows and finding your terminal value, go back to your one of our first projection and insert today's valuation date to see how much of the year we have left. This ensures that the first year's projections are discounted correctly. And it's also known as the step period. But side note, you usually don't have to say this part in interviews. Now it's time for discounting. So we want to take our future free cash flows and our terminal value and discount them by the discount rate. And now this discount rate can be either your cost of equity, if the firm's future free cash flows are currently levered, or they could be your WAC or your weighted average cost of capital if your free cash flows are currently unlevered. This distinction corresponds to whether the free cash flows of the firm are available to equity holders or available to both equity holders and debt holders. Now you take the sum of these discounted cash flows and your terminal value, and this gets you your present value of the company or your intrinsic value of the firm. Like and follow for more walkthroughs like this.